Giving a thumbs up to the pilot, President Donald Trump stepped off Marine One this afternoon, heading back to the White House where he'll continue treatment for COVID-19. Standing on the balcony of the residence, the president took off his mask before heading inside, later posting this video on Twitter about the virus. Don't let it dominate you. Don't be afraid of it. You're going to beat it. We have the best medical equipment. We have the best medicines, all developed recently. The president knows that the more the focus stays on COVID-19, and, and in particular his own personal case, uh, the worse it is for him politically. Political analyst Kevin Riggs says with the election less than a month away, Trump's campaign team is creating opportunities, like a car ride to wave to supporters during his three-day stay at the hospital for the president to be seen. Has really been a pretty well-planned stream of messages and images that were all intended to convey this this picture of strength, not weakness, and of quick recovery. But some doctors are concerned about the president's return to the White House. It does seem to be um, just a little bit uh, accelerated. This breaks every protocol, and there's no there's no sort of equivocation here. People know that he has the virus. They know that he could be spreading the virus to other people. I mean, that that's a huge concern. Offices have been set up in the White House, not far from the medical unit where the president will work. Emily Maha, KCRA 3 News.